हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज विजय कुमार शंकर कांबळे वर्किंग एज ए असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजिनिअरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ॲट ए आय एस एस एम एस इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नॉलॉजी टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू सी द टॉपिक ॲटोमेटिक लोड फ्रिक्वेन्सी कंट्रोल ऑर ए एल एफ सी सो ए एल एफ सी स्टँड्स फॉर ॲटोमेटिक लोड फ्रिक्वेन्सी कंट्रोल द चीफ ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह ऑफ ए एल एफ सी इज टू मेंटेन द डिझायर्ड रिअल पॉवर आउटपुट दॅट इज ॲक्टिव पॉवर आउटपुट ऑफ ए सिंगोडो जनरेटर युनिट अँड असिस द प्रोसेस ऑफ फ्रिक्वेन्सी कंट्रोल ऑफ द इंटरकनेक्टेड नेटवर्क वी नो दॅट द इन पॉवर सिस्टीम्स सिंक्रोनो जनरेटर्स आर यूज टू डिलिव्हर द इलेक्ट्रिकल पॉवर इट इज डिलिव्हरिंग द इलेक्ट्रिकल पॉवर टू द लोड सेंटर्स थ्रू ट्रान्समिशन लाईन्स ॲज यू नो द लोड इज नॉट ए कॉन्स्टंट लोड इट इज ए कंटिन्युअसली व्हेरिएबल लोड अँड ड्यू टू चेंज इन द लोड कंडिशन्स ड्यू टू व्हेरिएबल लोड कंडिशन्स दे आर विल इफेक्ट ऑन द वोल्टेज अँड द कंड फ्रिक्वेन्सी अँड टू मेंटेन द फ्रिक्वेन्सी ॲट ए डिझायर्ड लेवल डिझायर्ड लिमिट वी रिक्वायर ॲटोमेटिक लोड फ्रिक्वेन्सी कंट्रोल सिस्टीम सो ए एल एफ सी हेल्प्स इन मीटिंग द स्पेसिफाईड पॉवर चेंजेस अमंग द मेंबर ऑफ इंटरकनेक्शन सिस्टीम्स सो इन पॉवर सिस्टीम देर आर लार्ज नंबर ऑफ जनरेटर्स नंबर ऑफ जनरेटर्स विच आर डिलिव्हरिंग द इलेक्ट्रिकल पॉवर ऑल दी जनरेटर्स आर इंटरकनेक्टेड विथ ईच अदर सो दिस ए एल एफ सी ऑल्सो हेल्प्स इन मीटिंग द स्पेसिफाईड पॉवर चेंजेस अमंग दीज मेंबर्स ऑफ इंटरकनेक्शन ए एल एफ सी लूप इज फंक्शनल ओनली ड्युरिंग स्मॉल अँड स्लो चेंजेस इन द लोड अँड फ्रिक्वेन्सी सो वेन एव्हर देअर इज ए स्मॉल चेंज इन द फ्रिक्वेन्सी स्मॉल चेंज इन द लोड कंडिशन्स दॅट टाईम ए एल एफ सी लूप विल बी फंक्शनल गव्हर्नर इज द हार्ड कंपाऊंड ऑफ द टर्बाईन विच कंट्रोल्स इट ड्युरिंग द स्टडी स्टेट अँड ट्रान्झेंट कंडिशन सो गव्हर्नर कंट्रोल्स द इनपुट फ्लो टू द टर्बाईन that is to the generator and when we control the turbine you are controlling the input of the generators means you are controlling the output of the generator that is the output active power and the frequency are kept in a desired limits the governor does not this function by controlling the steam flow through the turbine the governor does that is governor controls this steam flow by uh, through turbine by adjusting the control over that is by adjusting the input to input to the turbine adjusting the steam input to the turbine gover is a control component with advanced protection for the turbine which ensures safe operation of the turbine steam turbine governing is the procedure of monitoring and controlling the flow rate of steam into the turbine with the objective of maintaining its speed and rotation constant steam turbine governing system this is used to monitor and control the flow of rate of steam into the turbine and the main objective of this is to maintain the speed of rotation at a constant value The flow rate of steam is monitored and controlled by interposing walls between the boiler and the turbine. So, this is the diagram of speed governance system. So, this consists of different parts. The first part is the flyball governing system. this mechanism is called as a flyball governing system it consists of two flyballs when the speed increases this flyball moves outwards when the speed decreases this flyball moves inwards this is a hydraulic amplifier it consists of a main piston and a pilot ball also and a high pressure oil is inserted 
from this tube when it moves downwards this high pressure oil will move from this direction and due to this high pressure oil this main piston will move upwards or when d moves upward that is this pilot valve moves upward that time high pressure oil will move from upward direction it will come here and due to high pressure this main piston will move in the downward direction this is steam valve on the upward direction it will close the valve in the downward direction it will open the valve this is a linkage mechanism a b c d e this is called as a linkage mechanism so these are two rigid links a b c is one link pivoted at b c d e this is another link pivoted at d and this is a speed changer if it moves downward it will increase the speed and when it moves upward it will lower the speed now let us say that the speed of the uh, the load on the uh, load side load is decreases on the load side that is demand decreases and due to decrease in the demand the generator is rotating at a higher speed that is we have to decrease the speed of the generator to decrease the active power so this due to increase in the speed this flyball moves outwards as the flyball moves outwards this b point will move in the downward direction when b moves in the downward direction c will move in the upward direction and d will move in the downward direction when d moves in the downward direction high pressure oil will be inserted from this pipe and this high pressure oil will move in this direction and it will move the main piston in the upward direction as it moves the piston in the upward direction the this steam wall will move in the closer direction or the rate of flow of steam will be decreased to the turbine and when the rate of flow of steam is decreased to the turbine the speed of the turbine will be decreased and when the steam uh, speed of the turbine decreases it will decrease the speed of the generator and automatically it will decrease the active power as well as the frequency that is it will control the active power and the frequency in the opposite suppose the speed of the turbine speed of the generator decreases so that this flyball will moves in the auto inward direction when this moves in the inward direction this b will move in the upward direction c downward d upward when d moves upward e will be moving the downward direction when d upwards that time this high pressure oil will be flowing in this direction it will move in this direction and due to this high pressure this main piston will move in the downward direction when main piston moves in the direction direction this opening will be increased that is steam wall opening will be increased and when steam wall opening is increased the rate of flow of steam will be increased to the turbine this turbine will rotate at a higher speed means generator will rotate at a higher speed and when generator is rotating at higher speed it will increase the active power in that is it will control the active power as well as the frequency suppose we have to increase the speed of the generator then with the help of this speed changer if we move the speed changer if we move this wall uh, uh, downward that is on the raised side then a will be moving the downward direction b will be moving the upward direction c downward d upward and e downward d upward means this piston will move in the upward direction the high pressure oil will move in the upward direction due to that the piston will move in the downward direction when piston moves in the downward direction the steam wall opening will be increased that is the rate of flow of steam will be increased when the rate of flow increase steam is increased 
the turbine will rotate at a higher speed that is generator will rotate at a higher speed and it will increase the active power similarly if we move in the lower side that is in the upward direction a moves in the upward direction b downward c upward d downward when move d downward e will be in the upward direction d downward means the high pressure oil will be moving in this direction and this piston will move in the upward direction due to this high pressure oil so due to this movement in the upward direction it will move in the closure that is rate of flow of steam will be decreased and due to decrease in the rate of flow of steam the turbine speed will be decreased and due to decrease the turbine speed the generator will rotate at the lower speed that is speed of the generator will be decreased and the speed of the generator decreases the frequency and the active power will be decreased so this is the actual working of alfc that is if due to load conditions if generator speed decreases or generator speed increases that increase or decrease the generator speed will sense by this flywheel mechanism and according to that flywheel will move inward or outward and according to the movement of this flywheel this linkage mechanism will operate and it will in, that is this valve will be moves in the closure direction or in the open direction that is it will the steam flow will be controlled and due to control of the steam flow the speed of the generator will be controlled that is active power will be controlled and when active power is controlled it will control the frequency thank you